Link is sent, brother. It's in your, uh, it's in your, I'm up all up in your DMs, bro. All up in your DMs. All up in the DMs. So the factory I work at, let me, uh, let me throw this up here while we're waiting. Factor I work at had a quarterly meeting, basically told everybody on the ground level, hey, we made $400 million this year, but we're down 12%, can't get pay increases. I mean, making $400 million sounds like a lot until you pay uh, the expenses to make $400 million. I'm not sure that that's a, that's a bad get. I mean, it's a bad deal for everybody, but I don't know, man. I have, I've never been in that situation. I can't tell you. Um, but this is one of the reasons why I think that everybody needs to hedge against uh, inflation and downturns in the economy. Andrew, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Kind of disappointed today, man. Got it. I need disappointed. In me? No, not in you. Not in oh, you. okay. I was like, man, what no. the fuck did I do? I just got so here. I go, so I go out to the gun range with Jim Bob and Sneeko. Right? Okay. So we're shooting machine guns over at the fucking range. Fuck yes. So, you know, we rent this, we rent these packages, you know, so we can shoot these. Guys. Well, of course, you know, I, I made sure to rent Sneeko and AK-47, the preferred weapon of his people, <laughs> and, and let him know, you know, I, I got it because it was the preferred weapon of uh, choice for the, uh, well, let's just say the people who might wear certain types of rags around their heads. But anyway, sure. so, so we're there, we're shooting, we're having a good time. But, you know, I ordered the Russian package. So I wanted a Russian AK. And what do they do? They bring over an American AK. So I stopped the range and I'm like, no, I want a Russian fucking AK. He said, we don't have one. He said, well, why the fuck would you sell a Russian package? You don't have a Russian AK. I'm like, dude next to me is like, bro, an AK is an AK. You know, man, you know, when somebody says that shit about the art or they're all the same shit. I lose my fucking mind. <laughs> Big pet peeve of mine. You know, I talk you, guns for hours, bro. I'm if, not you an say, if you say that it's a milled in AK-47 Russian, then I want to shoot a milled in AK-47 Russian. So highly yeah. disappointed. I'd be very disappointed as well. It's very I'm upset, not an AK very guy, upset. but you know, if you're going to have one, you might as well have a, a Russian or Bulgarian. You know, um, but Polish, yeah, that's Polish is the best. You Polish think so? is the best. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. I like yeah. the. I mean, the only ones I've shot. Well, you really, got to think about it. They're basically all made by dumb people, but they're really good. So yeah. the dumbest of all of the people, by this logic. <laughs> <laughs> The, the dumbest of the dumb wins. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. That's fucking so, awesome. I have a drop-in auto sear. Uh, well, actually, an R R D S registered drop-in auto sear. And uh, and I that thing's like really fun for the first 20 minutes until you realize you got to reload all those damn mags, and you just spent like. Five hundred dollars in ammo. So, um, yeah, I only bring it out if somebody else is if somebody else really, really, really wants to experience full auto, and they're buying the ammo. Um, yeah, but I don't really know what I'm doing here though because I feel like if I'm giving you, you know, a half hour of my time, that that should be fifty five thousand dollars. What's that? Oh yeah, fifty five thousand. So, dude, I gotta be honest with you, man. I got, and you're gonna be, you might, it's okay if you're mad, mad angry with me for saying this, but I have never seen anyone made a bitch on stage faster than you made Wes a bitch live on stage. Oh, it was fun. He was, he, uh, was your, he, he made was him, he made him, he made himself bitch. look retarded, dude. He yes. made himself look retarded. He was your, and he bitch ruined, he, he, he ruined the up. entire, he ruined the whole event and he, he cheapened did. it. He made the he event did. look like a fucking timeshare. He made it look like it was a fucking timeshare pitch. He did. People didn't people didn't buy to go to that event for a fucking timeshare pitch. All about how man, if you follow my step by step instructions, I'm gonna make you into a roided out bald motherfucker like me. 
Snap into a slim jim. Snap into a slim jim. He he literally like every every single fucking question. It was when I was in prison. <laughs> I was like, that was fucking awesome. But it was nothing compares to the first four minutes of the exchange between you and him when he felt the need to stand up. <laughs> And, and Wait, did, 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 did you know? Did you know Go ahead. what triggered him? Did, did you see what got him? No. What made him so enraged? Uh-huh. I couldn't believe it. This is this has maybe happened like two two other times maybe, where uh, a direct quote from the Bible triggers somebody that bad. But, yes. but what happened? What happened is they, he was you know they all gave their spiel about if you want to be a multi gajillionaire like me. And drive Bugattis and Lamborghinis and you know the blah 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 blah. You know, this is the fucking bullshit. Um, then what you need to do is follow my fucking eighteen step fucking eighteen thousand dollar course, and it'll make you into a high value man, and it'll be the greatest thing ever. Then all I said to him was, I quoted Matthew and just said, "Look, what good does it do to have all the worldly gains in the world that cost your soul? I saw what does that, that do for you?" And that dude, that quote, that dude lost his fucking mind dude, because he, he was there to do a sales pitch and, and he felt like we were ruining the pitch. And so he jumped up and he's like, he's got to discredit us, right? Because we were wrecking the pitch and instead we didn't back down. And I told him too, I was like, dude, you're fucking stupid. Why would you ever threaten a guy in a stand your ground state who's armed and you're a felon? You know how fucking dumb that is? Like, <laughs> Do you know? Do you do you know what happens when a hollow point nine millimeter explodes in a person's face? It doesn't matter how many roids they're on. It's just fucking stupid, dude. I'm like, why? Why would you think I'm concerned at all about you? That's your exact. You from the moment he stood up that first time, he was so enraged. He literally you controlled his ass the entire rest of it. He, you and Jim Bob. Jim Bob had him as well, and. I've never seen anybody made into someone's bitch that fast. He literally well, Jim Bob, did not yeah. leave it alone. And well, just if you don't know there. Jim Bob's work, um, Jim no. Bob's a genius. He's a he's a fucking genius, and he's uh, he's been debating. He's been a debate partner of mine in the past, and we've done a ton of shows together. Uh, a lot of respect for him. And I brought him out to these different events because I want to get him in front of some bigger creators and bigger audiences who I think will really enjoy his work because he has a lot to offer. And so, and, but he proved it. So, you know, they pulled him up on stage uh, last minute because it was a cancellation. He wasn't even scheduled to go up. And he still killed it. He did, man. He was like, it was... Um, honestly, you and you and Jim, Bob, Jim Bob, Jimbo, what, whatever, uh, Jim Bob, yeah. you, guys, you guys killed it, man. I, I, the entire rest of the panel was like snake oil salesman, like that, like literally everybody else there was like, I wouldn't trust any of these fuckers, but but you and Jim Bob were the class of the act, man. It was awesome, and I and well, I just you didn't believe here's some things you don't was. know. Here's okay. some things you don't know. Like so that. when we when we started diving into it, the very first thing he said is, would you take advice from these fuckers? And the whole audience was like, yeah. I heard that. We would. I heard that. Right? <laughs> and then. Oh, yeah, we would. And, yeah. And then uh, he's like, you would hang out with these guys? And they're like, yeah. Hell yeah. And then the second, this, the second thing, when I hit him on the, uh, well, you're the one who said a man came into your, to your cell while you were ass up. I mean, that's what you said. It got Dude, your, he went your ass so up. Hard, and he, he just said, um, not. It, yeah, he goes, the whole audience started laughing. And they were dying laughing. It was probably a good 30 seconds. And he was just furious, man. He was so enraged. It was really, really funny. Fun. It was really funny. But I mean, that's the thing, right? It's like it, all that working out, all that fucking muscle voids, all that fucking. I'm in a prison. I still typed your head. It's like all that's moot when a person's armed and stands your ground state. And it's like, well, I guess you're gonna have to contend with the ideas, huh, dummy? <laughs> right. Yeah. Because uh, uh, physically, physically assaulting somebody in in the state of Florida, where people have been shot for cutting in a movie theater line and getting away with it, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Doesn't sound like a good idea. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, he's, he's one of those that has, he probably, you know, gets people to back down all the time just because he's big. And, and that's uh, my, so my wife thinks it's really funny. So I'm not particularly big um, or tall or any of that, but nobody, no, nobody even blocks my way. I think my personality is such that people just don't, block, don't mess with me very much. My wife thinks it's hilarious. And, you know, and obviously she takes advantage of it at every possible opportunity. And, uh, but I've never, I never have people talk to me or treat me like that ever. And, uh, oh, he said, uh, it's always interesting to see that. somebody be oh. that stupid on, um, on a stage. I guess he thought he was going to like, what, back you down <coughs> Thing. like you're on a stage dude Just sit down shut up and you literally had him you had his number from the word go like he well, when they your when people are that career. when people are that enraged uh they become easy to control they're governed yeah. by their emotions yeah, he was a bitch he was totally yeah. <laughs> I've never seen, and, and it's okay if you don't agree with me saying that in my everything i saw was like if you could just say one thing and he would just go off for 10 minutes on, and it wasn't even, it didn't even have anything to do with what you were saying. It was well, $55,000 a month, blah, 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 whatever the fuck he was saying, you know? And I was like, well, who cares? Who cares? We had, we had people come up to us after that event was done. I mean, basically most of the people at the event. Did I lose you? Great. I lost like, you there for a second. Andrew? Andrew? I think we lost Andrew. Can you hear me now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're back. Yeah, yeah. great. Yeah, sorry. Bad. I got a bad connection. And plus, there's five, right. tons of noise, tons of ambient noise around me from outside of the hotel. Yeah. But anyway, we had tons and tons of fucking people come over shaking our hands afterwards. And they were like, just fucking. Well, it was definitely a, an L for West. The the chat was ripping his ass. Well, so but so was the crowd. And afterwards, oh, the crowd. Oh yeah, the crowd came over. They were shaking their hands. Like it's it's nice to see somebody who gives a different take than just the fucking. Oh god, you man, make lots of money. You know what about what about what do you do with all that though? Once you have it. <laughs> I, I you know thought I mean? he was. Gonna, I thought his mind was gonna fucking fry when you said, uh, "I think I got five dollars in my wallet." <laughs> yeah, he yeah. Looked, well, he looked did. over at, at, at the dudes and he's like, "No, seriously, how much has he got?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. They don't. They, I'm like, I'm like, bro. It, it, but that's it, it's totally meaningless. It's totally fucking meaningless. And it's just like, how can people put that much value on something that's so valueless? You know what I mean? But but they did. And yeah, of course the chat the chat can relate to that a lot more than they can fucking relate to oh I was in prison and now I scam people for money, right? They right. can fucking they can relate to that a lot easier. And the the thing is it's like I'm just trying to draw a contrast. Look, I'm not fucking big and yoked and fucking fuck this shit. Blah 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 blah. I'm not there with that message. They're the message that like dude. You still don't have to take any shit if you're just a normal person. And it's okay to be fucking normal. You can be a normal person, still never put up with any fucking shit, still not fucking drive a Bugatti and value money and only the material. And you still don't have to be a fucking bitch and we don't follow a religion that says we have to be. Very simple. I just couldn't believe where that, where his, where he was, right? Like it was just, it was kind of nuts. And well, you got to remember inside this headspace that these people have, they're they're constantly competing with a shadow. Who are they competing against? Right? They're competing against other people who have a similar mindset of materialism. And the, the people who don't give a shit about materialism, they've already beaten them. Yeah. They've already fucking won in every conceivable way because they're not a slave to stuff. Imagine being a slave to stuff instead of utilizing stuff to enhance the enjoyment of your life and creating freedom for you and your family, having money. Imagine instead becoming a slave to it where you constantly have to have more in order to compete with the other stuff happers. Well, <laughs> the I, other I stuff happers. I meet them all the time. So I, um, 
you know, I go to, I go to these functions with my wife and, you know, there's literally, I mean, like real billionaires, there, like not fictional on paper billionaires, but guys that, you know, corporate fucking raiders and shit. And, and I just, I'm a normal dude. I'm, I, I, and I don't have anywhere good. near that much. And, but and, good. good. And they'll be, we'll be talking and they're like, they can't believe the conversations that we can have together, even though, you know, I walk in and like, I know shit. I walk in and like the same five eleven jeans I wear every day. I wear, you know, half time I wear a shirt I, I bought at Walmart because you know I'm a cheap fuck. And good. Uh, and they, it's hilarious. It really is. It drives my wife crazy sometimes. Um, but it is what it is, and it's who I am. <clears throat> and uh, you know, it's it's. I mean, we we do buy nice stuff. But I wouldn't lie and say that we don't, but. At the same time, you know, the, I don't live like I don't live like these guys act like they live. And and I was actually um, that was one of the things I was going to talk about is how all these guys, you know, they have, and I've met a bunch of them now that <clears throat> everything they have is leased or on some kind of promotional share gig. They don't own. Bro, I don't any. believe. Bro, I don't believe any of them. I, yeah, I do believe I do problem. I do believe Myron and I do believe Walter. I do believe Preston Fit because like I've seen that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know that those guys are, are doing well. And they do give out sound advice, I think, for some of them. But they don't neither one of them reject religion. In fact, sure. they embrace it. They embrace it and say, yes, the material is not enough. I mean, that's what Walter said to me after the show. I remember he's like, You're right, man. It's like that shit ain't enough. It's never yeah. been enough, it's never gonna be enough. And it's something that men like you and I, we, we knew this when we were fucking, you know, 15, 16. You know, the newest video game only makes you happy for a little while. You know what I mean? And yeah, I never could have played a video game. So. And, and happy, happiness isn't supposed to be the, the fucking the uh, ultimate goal anyway. Yeah. And so it was nice. I think for a lot of people, it's nice to see a contrasting message of somebody just didn't. I don't, I don't fucking care. I don't give a shit how nice your sneakers are or your Lamborghini I watch. I don't even know. I don't even know what those things are. If you tell me that the, this is the newest, you know, fucking pair of stylish shoes and watch and this and that, I'm like, I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. You're speaking, you're speaking Spanish to me. I don't even know what the fuck any of that means, and I don't give a shit. It's it's meaningless. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a fucking meaningless. This guy in your chat, he says. um, and this this cracks me up. He says he was bragging so much. No, he wasn't bragging. He was begging. They're beggars. They're professional e beggars. And what they're doing, they try to mask their begging by saying, "No, no, no. You need this. You need this. You need this." But what they're really doing is they're begging you to yeah. listen to what they're saying. They're begging you to buy from them. They're begging you to help them, assist them. They're begging you for everything they could possibly beg you for. But what they're not doing, for the most part, almost none of these guys are giving you anything of value. They're begging you for your value. Without yes. you, they don't exist. Without you, they're nobody. Without you, they're nothing. They're beggars. They get on their fucking knees and they beg. And they offer almost nothing in exchange. And men operate on value exchange. You give me something of great value. And then in exchange for that, some great service or some great work or some great product, then I'll release my money to you. But these guys, they're not doing that. They're making the bold claim that they've already given you the value just by them explaining that there is that value. <laughs> it's like, no, you're just, you're begging. You're begging me to take a risk on you, take a chance on you. You're begging me to give you something. So it's not, it's not that these guys are bragging, it's that they're begging. Yeah, man, I um, I've known a lot of people like that in my life, though, and that's one of the reasons why I could never really be. I, I've never pictured myself as a salesman because I I couldn't I can't lie to people very well, and and I can't um I I can't I can't promote anything I don't believe in. I just can't. Um, and I can I really don't understand. I, I mean, I understand the marketing. I understand the techniques. I understand all of that. But 
you know, if I were to, if I were to try and be one of those guys online, I would fail so much. <laughs> it would be so well, bad. But it's because, listen, it's because of uh, not all of them are frauds and hucksters. Some of them are great guys who do help with self-improvement. I don't have any problem with that. Sure. But what I'm saying to you is that most of them, like most most people who are in a business of begging, okay, um, they, they're frauds and hucksters and they're fucking full of shit and everything else in between. But what I would say ultimately is you can tell how a person is by the rejection of humanity. Or if they embrace humanity, if somebody's basically telling you that they're a vampire and that all of humanity is just there for them to suck dry for their own fucking benefit, right? You're you're for me. I don't give a fuck about you. I make X amount of money a day. I'm the best. I'm the greatest. I'm the better than that. They've essentially rejected human beings as being anything other than objects for their consumption. You know what I mean? What kind of morals and ethics does a person have who rejects humanity as a uh, nothing more than just a tool for their own gain, and that's what makes me fucking sick about the uh, about the whole pickup artist fucking. We're gonna make you a zillion dollar fucking bullshit artist community. Is that there's so much of that which goes on, and it's hyper predatory, and it's fucking yes. disgusting. It's fucking disgusting is what it is. It disgusts me. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> I absolutely do know what it, exactly what it means, and I don't agree with it. Yeah. So anyway, that's you got an echo. You got to mute yourself, Josie. Yeah, I just did. Sorry. Oh, okay. Good. 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 I thought it was. So anyway. It's like I just like redid the setup, and I think it's 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 getting it's getting there, right? Great. What you think? Yeah. It's not bad. It's not bad. Anyway, well, the, the big questions of the day for you, though, good one, you fucking piece of shit. You shave your arms, bro, like a good person. You do not do you shave your arms. Do you, you don't I shave your arms shave like a real man. I face today. I've been too busy. Bro. I've been out, been, bro, I've been out making actual money. And uh, has your hair, has your hair fallen out from steroids yet, bro? No, I am well, losing my fucking, hair. Everybody thinks I'm bald. Kind of I'm man? bald. I just, I, you know, what, I'm not. What kind bald. of fucking man? Hair. What kind of fucking man are you, bro? What kind of man are you that you fucking know. you you don't void yourself up and lose your fucking hair? Do you even do you even have full body tats from being prison raped? Do you even have that? Bro? I have zero tats, bro. Zero. Oh my god, you fucking this guy. You know what? I can't even be on this call anymore. You make me fucking sick. What kind of man are you? What kind of fucking man are you that you don't have a bald head, what prison tattoos? Wants? Well, do you screech it and do you screech at enormous crowds and beg them for money? I never have. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm done, dude. I'm done with this fucking call. You're fucking scum. I hate you. And there he's gone. <laughs> He'll be back, hopefully. Uh, yeah, sometimes they drop. What did I miss? Sorry. I, like, really did as as quick as I could. As you can say, I didn't barely did my makeup. Your camera's freezing, so... My camera's freezing? It froze for a second, so... It's on... Uh, it's, what's oh, it froze again. I, because I replugged my mic. I mean, it looks fine on my end. It might be you. Yeah, it just like freezes for at, like a split second. Might be you, because it's, it's fine. Yeah, it could be end. me. Yeah, it could be me. Andrew dropped out, man. Kind of hurts my feelings. He's going to come back. So what did I miss? Did you watch what I sent you? I have not had time. No, I, I like didn't get it before I started the show, and I, I can't do more than three things at one time. So, um I wasn't able to watch it. Josie, I'm getting reports that your mic is low. Mic is low. I mean, it's automatically adjust, but give me a sec. How's that? That's much better. Okay. So, because I just, I got a new uh, graphic card, like a fucking RTX. Mm -hmm. And um, I got the NVIDIA Studio. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of rocking it, but I'm just... I just got done installing it. And like right now I'm trying the Elgato camera. And I was trying the two uh, OBS bot cameras, like the 4K and the 1080. And it, there seems to be flicker with it, which is kind of weird. I don't know if the GoPro is going to work. There was like a, a lot of freezing. So I don't think that the GoPro is going to be an option, but. That's okay. Oh, your mic just dropped. 
Your mic dropped. Keep on plugging. Well, while she's doing that, the thing with Wes last night was just crazy, man. It, I, I, I watched it. And I just couldn't believe that someone was that nuts, that crazy. And, uh, you know, it's pretty terrible, pretty terrible stuff. <clears throat> and no, I have no tattoos. I'm a failure. I have, uh, I have, still have hair left, no roids. You know, it's, um, terrible thing for me i fail fail at life so he could have been on coke i don't know man that dude was uh probably i mean that it you know what bugged me was is literally any question you asked him his first response was when i was in prison did he go to prison did he go to prison i'm not sure I, I think he said something about him going to prison. Yeah, I think he went to prison. I'm, I, but I'm not sure. Andrew, can you tell us if he went to prison? Andrew, what you doing? Andrew's What's gone. happening? He's gone. He dropped. Oh, like he peaced out? Yeah, he's gone. He's dropped. He dropped. Without he, saying bye. He he, well, he said I'm out of here. He said I can't even. I can't even. Let me, uh, I'll message him and see if he's coming back. You're capping. Okay. Man, you're getting better than me at this. I'm better yeah, got, than you at what? That crazy bitch is here. I'm out. He roasted, then left. I'm like, he, what? He, he left as, as I got here? I, well, he was standing outside the hotel, so he probably finished his cigarette and he, you know, it's like, okay, that's all the time I got for you. So, nah, he wouldn't do that. Okay. I think we might get Jim Bob on. Uh, well, I would be pissed off if, like, I if I missed him because I I I messaged him. I say if he could come on at about seven earlier. Yeah, he um. Yeah, he came on. I w we were uh, talking about rental properties and that kind of and you know making money and stuff. Um, you know the thing about uh, well, I wanted to address the West situation. Oh yeah, yeah. We were we we start. Um, Andrew Andrew certainly addressed it. <laughs> Andrew was like, Andrew was all over that guy, man. I've never seen anybody. Does anybody agree? So so those of you that have watched it, have you ever seen anybody made a bitch faster in your life? It was literally like twenty seconds. Is all it took Andrew to turn. Um, to turn uh, Wes into his personal bitch, and now we have Jim Bob. Jim Bob, welcome, buddy. I it, truly enjoyed your message to uh, Wes last night. Awesome, great, thank uh, you, great sir. Work. Great work. You are thank, a, 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 a you're a man amongst men. Thank you. Thanks a lot for having me. Oh no, man! Thank you for showing up. That's great. So. Um, but uh, yeah, we were just talking about Wes and uh, how um, with one comment in 20 seconds, Andrew turned Wes into his bitch for the rest of the night. Pretty and, much. Uh, <laughs> whether Andrew agrees with that or not, that's what happened. <laughs> Andrew's too yeah. nice. Andrew's, Andrew will say that, that uh, you know, Wes was just uh, roided out and didn't know what he was doing. I'll just tell you that. West West became Andrew's bitch and danced whatever dance Andrew wanted, and he couldn't answer a single question. Every single question was when I was in prison. <laughs> yeah, I know. That was awesome. That was there awesome. I was, there I was. not I just got out of prison with five dollars. Yeah, it's like a testimony. It was like a testimony and the, night. The worst part is that he didn't even like. He talks like he's been to like max security prison. He was like at a minimum, and I think he did like one year or something. He didn't do like ten years. Yeah, I just got the DMs. It's fine. But so far, I think I'm okay. So 
someone tell Mike Hart that this is uh, my live stream. Uh, I don't I don't stream it over to to the Grid One page anymore because that's for airplanes. So. Yeah, like you can't you can't split uh, like one stream at like two different accounts is like it like kills your algorithm so bad. All about the algorithm, bro. All about the algorithm. Well, it's like my channel's linked to it too, so you know. Yeah, Jim Bob, I don't really know. I, I haven't watched your channel, man. Can you tell us what uh, you do and and all sure. any of um, all thirty of my listeners here that? Sure. Uh, yeah, 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 no problem. Uh, well. My, my main job, my main job has been as a satirical cartoonist. So most people know my work, not my face or my voice. Um, so um, I'm a weekly contributor to the Washington Examiner. I've done a bunch of like viral memes during the, the Karunka phase, days. And, um, and then I started a channel not too long ago, you know, a couple of years started out streaming in my little car during my lunch break at my job and then I was able to quit my job and go full time into streaming. So I do satire and uh, comedy and, and, you know, some impressions. And um, I just talk about, I usually fight atheism and really shitty worldviews. And I also give out a link so that people can call in and try to uh, battle out our views. So it makes a, a unique channel uh, experience because you never know what's going to happen over at my channel. Well, it's great. I'm going to check it out, man. I um, hmm. I don't have a ton of time to spend online, and uh, but I will. I'll I'll check you out, man. Um, Wally, that is mean, man. How do you say that with a straight face? How That's do you... funny. <laughs> what do you mean? How do you do that, man? What's wrong with you? We have a guest. <laughs> What's Wicked wrong Wally, with you, man. Not even a pun. Not even his usual puns. He just goes super dark. <laughs> this... Yeah, Google Josie, says he did ten years, buddy. You, you you didn't you didn't get it right. You didn't get it, Josie. No. How do you know what a real man looks like when you're face down? Face down, ass yeah. up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's the French in you. You have to be less French today. We have Americans on the on the show. <laughs> so, I grew great. up in the gay district, like near the gay district. So the jokes. Oh, so, so I'm like, just... I've heard them. It's like they just don't hit anymore. It's like my tolerance you're, is like you're, you're you're desensitized. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's a what single a gay joke I haven't heard. Here. I could never be desensitized to gayness. I just couldn't do it. Like, like I just, well, first of all, the humor is just, I, I can't miss out on the humor. First. That's because you're mean, a hog. I am what I am. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I can't miss out on the humor first. And then, you know, it's still funny. Man. What do you guys, what have you guys been up to? It's an hour and 27 minutes. What did I miss here? Well, I talked. I started off the show. I had a question from uh, the. We had a guest on Wednesday night, who's a uh, who's a nurse, a doctor. Pardon me. I'm sorry. I'm, I she's in the audience now as well, and um, who, and I didn't know this. Doctors are so fucked. They uh, they graduate with hundreds of thousands of dollars of student loan debt, and they go out and make a, a reasonable living. But that debt is all compound interest. And so, like, if you graduate with, uh, I think she said she graduated with, like, $240,000 in uh, student loan debt. And yep. um, it rapidly increased to, like, three hundred sixty. And she's slave, paid it. Sl slave yeah. doctors. Right. Any right. slave student, to be honest. Even yeah. for me, like, in Canada, I would have been okay if the dollar didn't crash. But it did. So, yeah. um, it went from, like, one to one. Like, the dollar was, like, almost one to one. Then it went to... Like one forty, yeah. yeah. So anyway, she paid it all off. And then she um, she bought a house. She went uh, and, and you uh, you didn't see the show, so you don't know. She went to um, buy a house with two hundred thousand dollars down. She's going to buy a six hundred thousand dollar house, but she couldn't bring herself to go four hundred thousand dollars back in the debt. Right. So she actually saved another couple of years and paid cash for a house. And she pays cash for everything, which is how old is she? Amazing. 
I she's in her mid to late thirties. Okay. I don't ask women how old they are. I, yeah, I like I, it's just to know long. like <laughs> I've been it's just long. to know their age group, you know. Yeah, I think she's I think she's in her mid to late thirties, and uh, and I didn't know that. I mean, I and what's interesting is Monday last uh, well Monday night we had uh, I was at my uh, kids uh, Boy Scout yearly health update thing, and they had three doctors in there, and they were talking about how screwed they are financially when they come out of um, med school. It, some of them come out with like over a half a million dollars in debt. And it's crazy. 12 years, 12 years in school. Like you would think that they would graduate in their mid twenties. Most of them don't enter their profession until they're 30 or 32. Can you imagine not making any real money until you're 30 or 32 years old? That's nuts. And the, uh, so we talked a little bit about that and um, she had asked, uh, she has been talking about wanting to do rental property. I have rental property and I was talking about how I have this really, um, I'm, I've been interviewing people all weekend uh, for a property. I've decided, or not weekend, the week, uh, I've decided on some really based people. And I talked about how I decided uh, that I'm going to rent to these people and why I think they're really super based and super cool. And, uh, and it was just a really good conversation. And then we talked a little bit about how I evaluate rental properties and how I think people lose their fucking ass on them and don't do that shit because it's stupid. I curse a lot. I'm sorry. That's uh, okay. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, infamous Luigi says, I think Jim, Bob, and Andrew were wasted on that panel. Are you, are you talking about alcohol? I hope so. Um, no, we weren't wasted if you're referring to alcohol. Uh, we had maybe one one decent drink before that. Um, and he's Irish, so I mean... Yeah, it was nothing. Gonna take took one the, of that. Took the edge off. You know, it's uh, it's interesting. I, I've never actually met Andrew in person, but I really like Andrew. Like, uh, he's... Um, and he's helped me out. You know, I, I just started this channel. Um, I uh, I spent my entire career in, in racing. Mm -hmm. uh, I never Blazing. had... Uh, yeah, I never had an adult job, and I never mm. wanted one. Uh, oh. But I was able to retire from racing, and which is something most people don't do. Most people just go broke, mm -hmm. and then go get a real job somewhere, and and then that's then they're out of racing. But I, I was able to to retire from racing, and um, through some very lucky set of circumstances, uh, stay retired actually, um, and. And so it's, uh, I have a lot of free time. So that's yeah. the channel. And I like to talk to people and I don't get enough. You know, I've, got a, I've got a three year old and a 13 year old. So I don't get, I don't get yeah. adult conversation very often. Yeah. So I value I mean. all of it. Yeah. <laughs> even the, even the West type, um, yeah. adult conversation. Oh no, yeah, the I second did. that Wes started talking, like the first sentence, it just rubbed me the wrong way. I was like, Okay, like he's up there. I'm gonna give him a chance, you know. His first but sentence, I knew it was gonna be awesome. The minute he started talking to Andrew, I was like, "This is gonna be awesome." Yeah, not a narcissist at him. all. You were even I think, better, just as good. Like you can't even answer a sim simple question. Dude, <laughs> you still he, haven't answered it. He showed himself immediately. The moment I did an intro and he didn't understand the sentence, the tension between traditionalism and modernity. He was like, I want to know what you guys are talking about. And I was like, uh-oh, this is the guy in the white pants. The guy in George Michael pants is going to be in trouble tonight. It's unfortunate because he used the F-bomb so many times, the, you know, the, the really bad F-bomb you can't use on YouTube. Right. And uh, he basically closed down the whole show, unfortunately. And uh, it was a wasted it was a, a wasted event in a sense. You know, we still accomplished something. But What uh, do you mean? I mean, it was wasted because they had to shut it down, so uh, people couldn't use watch it on YouTube. So it went over to Rumble only. It was on Rumble only. It was. Oh, running. but that's that's most of Fresh and Fit, anyways. Yeah, yeah. But then the exchange itself, someone came out after, you know, and and whispered in the ear. He says, "Okay, no more debating, basically." So the yeah, the debate was that. called to a stop. So you had to be more topical. It turned into sort of like just like a coaching fest of like, you know. Oh, you know, how do you do good business kind of thing? Um, as opposed to getting into the, 
the uh, the battle of, of views, which is obviously where we thrive. It's not in self-help shit, right? I mean, I don't mind them doing that. It's just obviously it's not for everyone, and it's surely not for me. If it helps some guys do better in life and no, pull no, themselves gotta, up by the bootstraps, no, no, good. No, no, no. no. Ty, those guys don't help anybody except the lawyers that keep them out of prison. See what I did there? Because you know he went to prison. <laughs> See, that was funny. Did he? But, did he go to prison? Did he go to prison? I'm not sure. Did he go to prison? Technically, yeah. I don't think he didn't talk about it too much. So <laughs> yeah, he never mentioned it once. And uh, but uh, it was really funny. The whole thing was funny. And Jim Bob, I really appreciated your comments, and especially Andrew. Andrew's back in the chat. I don't mm -hmm. know why he bailed, but you know. Oh wait, he's back. There he is. I didn't see Andrew. Him. He's been and, fucking uh, ignoring me, dude. Piece of shit. Hey man, I told your, you you weren't a fucking real man. You don't. You don't have your fucking. You don't have your stupid roided fucking hair falling out or nothing. I, you, you ain't no man. No roids. Yeah. No roids. I'm Look sorry. I let you down. Yeah. Fucking scumbag. I'm just larping. I'm larping as a roided out <laughs> guy. <laughs> you guys me up. This is awesome. Uh, Jim Bob, man, I really actually want to know about your satire, man. I, I, sure. um, are you, so is it, uh, is it mostly from a, a Christian conservative view or is it yeah. kind of all directions? No, this show's about me snapping to a <laughs> slim gym. Andrew, Andrew, did he go, it's did he go to prison? You. Shut go your to fucking prison? mouth. Shut your fucking <laughs> mouth. Shut up. Shut up, Josie. Oh, do you Slap have a Bugatti? You. Do you have a fucking Bugatti? No. Do you make $55,000 a day? No. Did he go to prison? <laughs> I, I'm not sure. Did, did JB's mic just die? Hey, no. You gotta still hear me? Yeah, you're really low. Volume's low. All right, hold on. It's because I got these stupid head, piece, head things in. How about now? That's Mike's much better now. Thank you. All right, thanks. Anyway, um, yeah. If you don't have, if you have arm hair, you're not a man. Right, arm hair. The, where did that fucking come from, dude? Just, where does the ar, where does arm hair come into this? Hey, I saw, didn't know, man. I'm like, I'm like, you gotta see me, bro. I'm hairy as a fucking monkey sometimes. Yeah, dude, you're not a man. <laughs> I mean, road cyclist here. I can't really relate to that. So, like, the shaving part is like, okay, sure. Okay. But he doesn't look like he doesn't look like he rides bikes. That I just can't. I couldn't get that. Was it was just too. It was too much. It was too funny. It was crazy. Um, but uh, but yeah. Um, so does any of your satire about people going to prison and roiding? No, out? no. Now my sat. Well, now it could be. I could animate that guy and probably. Uh, That's like a whole new genre. His voice. Oh yeah. That I want to create a uh, a char like a character, a parody of that, and start an account and see if I can make it blow up. Like a guy who just sells slogans to people, right, and calls it coaching. I, I think I could do it. You Post more. Post I more. I believe in you, Jim Bob. Make it happen, Captain. <laughs> hey, thanks. <laughs> um. So I know that Andrew's one of Andrew's favorite. We were um, over in um, the whatever Discord tonight. We were talking about some quotes and and um, some other things. And, uh, and I, I I like Heinlein a lot. I don't know if you guys have read Heinlein. I'm you know I'm an old guy, so I've I've read a lot of Robert Heinlein. And I know that uh, it's one of Andrew's favorite movies, Starship Troopers. <clears throat> and he wrote that book when he was in his kind of his liber He was like the truest libertarian form. And uh, I thought that was really good, but uh, Heinlein's hilarious in some of his in some of his later work, and I don't know if it's really satirical, but um, I just thought that it was really great. Some of the quotes he had, um, when and I don't know, it was just real. I don't know how much you guys read. I know Andrew. Andrew I have a question though. Andrew, what do you mean read? What do you guy, mean read? Listen to me. It's not about reading. About it. It's not about. It's not about. Knowing it's, it's about application. It's about application. Hey, one at a time. No, you fucking one at a time. Don't you try to shut me down. Yeah, don't. Yeah. yeah I'm at $55,000. $55,000 a day. $60,000 a day. $60, a minute. You shut up. I'm talking. Shut up, bitch. Dance. I'm talking. $60,000 a minute. Sit down. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> 
I'll come over there and slap you. That was the best. When he said he was going to come over and slap Andrew, I swear to God, Andrew's smile got even bigger. Like, you were like, bring oh. it, baby. <laughs> it was, uh, that was great. Uh, yeah, what was your uh, – did something happen before the show? Or, like, you? Uh, it just caught you? But Josie froze. She froze. She froze up. Yeah. Am I good? Good. Good. I'm glad she froze because the show was becoming about her and not about me. Not about you going to prison, bro. No, so you shut up about prison. You don't. You don't know my story. Okay, I started with nothing. I was stealing anything. hub. I was stealing hubcaps and beating orphans for their lunch money. Now I make fifty five thousand dollars an hour. Do you understand that? An hour. You couldn't dream of making fifty five thousand. Shut up. Shut up! Don't interrupt Shut up, me. Bitch. Shut the fuck up, bitch! I'm don't you interrupt no, did you, me. Did they catch you by surprise <laughs> or like? No, we had no idea who. What was your reaction were. when he started the going at you was, like that? It, we we literally had no we had no clue who those guys were. That was our very first engagement. We didn't even talk to any of them. The and what was your reaction when he reacted like that? I mean, we thought it was hilarious. That's why we were fucking pushing him. <laughs> <laughs> The best part was when he was talking. There were, there were oh. two really good parts. The first was when Wes was talking about how he would he would walk around and people would know who I am. Don't you know who I am? <laughs> I that was like, who the fuck cares who you are? <laughs> yeah, be like, no. And then the other best part was when he looked over at I don't uh, fresh or fit or whatever, whatever one it is, and said, seriously, how much does he make? <laughs> Like, yeah. I couldn't believe that Andrew was was not was not loaded, and I'm I was like, you you can tell this guy lives in like some la la land where he's no not no version of reality <laughs> touches his brain. Like seriously, this guy is he's either in the psych, psychosis or drug induced psychosis, one of the oh, two. Coke. Because he is out there, bro. He, that guy had uh, he had issues. And I had never heard of it. I was like, who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> Actually, that whole side of the panel, I was like, who the fuck are these guys? I mean, why are they even on the show? What the fuck do they offer? They all said the exact same thing. Move somewhere where rich people are and be like rich people. <laughs> <Yeah. fuck? laughs> Baton Rouge, boy, you need to move to Miami. <laughs> I was like, don't be lazy. Work, work, work. Keep grinding, bro. By my course. Yeah. Yeah, like, I think they even said, like, go to the gym. I've turned out millionaires. People. I've turned out millionaires. Yeah, we believe that. Bro. Hundreds of hundreds of millions of millionaires. Turned out means something else. I sold, yeah. oh, yeah. I sold 800 <laughs> no, zillion out. copies of my book. <laughs> Do you understand? 800 zillion copies. How many book, book copies have you sold? It's not eight hundred zillion, is it? It's been ninety three thousand dollars a month of my rent. What do you I'm got? I'm surprised they can actually. When I roll up, when I roll up in my that Bugatti, I have my security guards show up first. There's eighteen of them, and they fucking throw rose petals at my feet. My cameraman makes a million dollars. Who the fuck are you to talk to me? Nobody. Man. Yeah, that it was awesome, man. That. Um, the, the part I knew about, you would like I it. Had forgotten, I had forgotten about the security roll up in his uh, custom rolls. Not, not standard, bro. No, it's fitted. <laughs> Who the fuck cares? Seriously, that's the dumbest thing ever. Now, first of all, you buy a Bentley, not a Rolls, bitch. And second, you don't buy a Bentley. So, they're better cars. Maybach, maybe. You buy Maybach. That's all right. That's so Nicki Minaj. I don't know who that is. I'm, Nicki Minaj, you don't know? Reality, unfortunately, I don't know who, who these fake people are. I don't I don't know any of them. I, I, I have too much more important shit to do than uh, fuck around with those guys. So, Hey, Grid One, have you ever... Uh... Raced a 1972 roundy. A roundy? Yeah, a beamer. Old those old be race beamers. You know, I did actually. Not a 72. Are you talking about a 2002? Yeah, 2002s. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So 
I had customers that had those. I, I never owned one. I did. Uh, so I did sports cars and uh, I actually am not. I, and I hope I don't piss everybody off, but I am not a BMW fan. We did race them for a while. Um, you know, they make good taxi cabs. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm an aesthetic person. Obviously, not about the performance. I wouldn't know shit about the performance. I just like that old. I just like that old car. Oh, dude, the 2002 is awesome. Actually, the the 2002 is one of the last BMWs that I would actually take money out of my pocket to buy. The two, I, I buy a 2002. Yeah. Um, now, if somebody else is my own, give a shit. But I'm a Porsche guy. Um, I used to I used to joke. That, so, okay. Uh, I used to joke that I could that I what? I loved Ferraris, but I could only afford Porsche. <laughs> and then now Porsches cost as much as Ferraris, so it's not really much difference. And uh, so that's, hey, um, somebody in the chat, be Bean in the chat. Yeah, bring them. You've on. got you you've got you've got something against Andrew. I mean, feel free to up on the stream and say it to his face or knock it oh. off. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I Get mean, yeah. Make it fun. <laughs> yeah, make it fun. Oh, he said his his name and voice and likeness are not free. Oh, no. sorry. I don't just, know what that just means. just his text messages. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, just, <laughs> you're, all you're doing is providing entertainment for the chat. I promise you, because they That's all good they, for the algorithm. They will tear you apart. <laughs> <laughs> Especially Wally. Don't get Wally started. That fucker's mean. Um, don't that don't don't get. Yeah, Wally. I think that one is in my chat though, so I'm not sure because our chats get merged. Oh yeah, yeah. He may not. Wally can't. Wally just said he can't see him. So I well, if be. you go on my account, you guys can uh, can see it. But stay yeah, on so that I, one. I um I did mostly Porsches for a long time. <clears throat> I um. I did have, we had a, and I actually, I had a really great relationship with Porsche, but. Hang on, hang on. I got to drive some, some uh, traffic over here real quick. Yeah, direct I'm traffic. Sorry. Yeah, I don't Double know why it keeps dropping. I'm, I don't, I'm not dropping. I'm just being quiet while the oh, people we are talk. MAGA fools. What? What? Oh, I, oh snap. We're oh, MAGA snap. fools. Look at this. Look at this guy. Look at MAGA this fools. guy. Look at you. And. If you're not a MAGA fool, what does that make you? Um, By I mean, Joe Bry Ben Simp. Yeah, I I still have both my balls, so. You sound like you sub to OF, just saying. Oh, yes, he does. You know he does. Um, but yeah, so I did the, uh, I only ever owned one Ferrari, and that was only because I knew I could sell it for more than I bought it for. <laughs> it was a nice. strictly... A transactional uh, ownership thing. Um, yeah, and I almost bought a Lamborghini a couple of years. Well, I guess last year for the same way, same reason. I could have made a lot of money on it, but then the deal, yeah, it got weird. So who cares? Uh, don't buy it. Um, they're not. I mean, they make great race cars. We almost did uh, my right before I retired. That was the that was the program that we would have gone with. We would have we would have done the Lamborghinis from Ryder Engineering in Germany. Because um, you know you, the, Germans, uh, the Germans make the best Italian cars. Do you watch uh, all of us? Like it seems to be more and more in focus the documentaries about racing. Do you watch those and nitpick them? And I like, do. Oh, that's bullshit. I do some of them. Um, the best ones. I don't think. I think he. I think he's passed. Elaine Decadne. If you watch any of his work, it's like from 10, 10 15 years ago, maybe old, maybe longer. Elaine Decadne was awesome. Just awesome. Most of the most of the backstory um, kind of stuff where people do these like, you know, all of this expose on who the drivers were and everything. A lot of that, first of all, I don't care about and I never I, I just didn't care to understand it. Um, drivers were the. To me, a driver was uh, usually a problem and they were the easiest part of the car to change. Like if we had a problem with the driver, there was always another one in stock. They generally removed and, and installed themselves. And, you know, that was the end of that. Yeah. That's, that was my theory on drivers. <clears throat> now I have some that I would always work with. <clears throat> I don't know why I can't talk all of a sudden. 
Um, there are drivers out there that there are drivers that are amazing human beings that I would, if I were to go back in the racing today, I'd call them up and say, Hey, I know you haven't, you know, I know you haven't been doing anything cool lately, but I want you to come drive my car because you're cool. You're awesome. And, um, if you're, when you're evaluating a driver, it's not like evaluating any other kind of employee because they need to have a, a very specific controlled aggression because they need to be able to do things with that car that would just piss most people off. And if they can't do it, then they're useless. They're absolutely worthless. And so I, I had this driver one time. I had this driver one time named uh, Dan Clark, Speedy Dan Clark. He was he came over from Indy Lights, and he was a super cool dude. Very, very great human being. Jim Bob, I don't even like, know what this guy's talking about. I know. I don't, I don't even know. know what he's talking about. <laughs> All right. Just go ahead and rage out. Man. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so, um, so Speedy Dan uh, came over to me um, from Indy <laughs> Car. I gave him a, tr- a shot in the car at mid Ohio and he'd been to mid Ohio before and uh, felt like he'd do pretty good there. And all through testing this guy and he's a young kid, he's a younger guy, but he's getting old for a, for a pro race driver, limited lifespan, unless you have a lot of money and he knew it. So all weekend he is bitching about the car. It's like, this isn't right. This isn't right. I need, you know, there's, you know, just a lot of stuff. And we changed a lot of shit on the car to make it and every but the thing is is every time we change something he went faster if 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 it goes the other way we start getting pissed but every time he'd hey, say, hey, every time I, I want every time he would say i want this he'd go out and he'd go faster so we go we get who into, dares um, say rachel's name without fear in her voice <laughs> so, me <laughs> so um we sent him out for qualifying any, any, um, the top 10 qualifiers were separated by less than nine tenths of a second. Oh, stupid close to each other. We were seventh, I think, six or seven. We we're outside pole, um, three cars back. So the, we do standing starts. So it's a drag race style start. So this is like the, the most dangerous way to start a race, period. And, but we do it because we're cool. And, and I'm thinking the whole time he's bitching about the car, I'm thinking, you know, he needs to go back to Indy Lights. This guy's a candy ass. He doesn't belong in a in a tin top car where it's a fist fight from the start of the race to the to the end, right? Like we're sprint races, so you know, bumpers are replaceable, right? We we you know, there are certain things that are consumable. I just expect you to not bring them back. And uh, as long as you as long as you do well. Wait, yeah. wait, it sounds like it sounds like you're saying you'd be okay if racing got rid of the humans. No, no. Because you gotta have that controlled aggression, man. You gotta have why it. Why not AI uh, Formula <clears throat> One? Why not? Because I'm about to tell you why. So we do the standing start, and <laughs> this fucker guy, this fucking guy that I've been like, this guy's a fucking candy ass. I don't need him in my car. He goes from seventh to first by the first corner. He went between Lawson Austinbach and Rob Holland and folded the fucking mirrors on the car. The goddamn side mirrors folded them and just kept going. And I asked Holland a little later, I was like, Rob, what do you think, man? Because uh, Speedy Dan just went by you like you were standing fucking still. And he said, yeah, I looked over and there he was and, 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 Lawson was on the other side, and there just wasn't a lot of room. But I figured if he thought he could make it, I was going to let him try. And he went through. There was literally like paint skimmed off of the fenders. This is how tight this guy put this car through there. And he went into turn one first. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? He can stay. <laughs> and you're not going to get an AI. And there's no AI that would go, okay, let's do this. This is the way it needs to go. Oh, that fucking Ben Shapiro. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm putting that fucking up there. There you go. Look, see, what? can't can't claim broke anymore. Did everybody's volume dry? No, no. no. Okay. He just right. he just won't shut up. He just yeah, won't shut up so we can chill. 
right. Yeah. Well, Go ahead and chill, bro. Chill your chill your program. Well, let's start with uh we'll start with Ben over here. Ben Shapiro. <laughs> He's got a cool as shit. Did you know his sister has an OnlyFans? Shapiro? Apparently. What does she teach law? Wait, wait, no. no, no, no! I don't, I don't believe you. You need to link it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, 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 don't. I was about to. So where's my picture of Ben don't. Shapiro? You can, you can ask him yourself if you, if you switch the Ben Shapiro back on. Yeah, it's. Just stay like that. It's good for the views. So, did you guys have oh. like a? Did you guys like dine out on the whole West thing the rest of uh, the la all of last night and this morning? Uh, yeah, Talking was, about we, what an we, did, we went in. Well, we went into his background and we we're just like drinking beers and listening to other people have who have already exposed his lies. And we we're like, oh, this is funny. If only we had known some of that stuff going into the panel, like that would have been pretty glorious. Andrew, nothing. Andrew's distracted. No, no, I'm not. I'm just. I don't give a uh, like, shit. We're in the we're in the same room, and Jim Bob is like it, there's a slight delay between us. But uh, anyway, okay. um, no, the I mean he's right. We basically were just laughing at this fucking guy. But he's uh, the only thing that that disappointed me. Like I don't give a shit about any of the blood sports or this guy spurting out or this or that. The only thing that pissed me off is that he ruined these guys' events and they put they clearly put a lot of effort into the event. It looked and like he just really, money. yeah, he really just kind of fucking wrecked the event. So um, I don't think he'll be getting invited back anytime soon. To be honest with you, you know why Andrew didn't lift his shirt, bro? Because he's armed, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's, why, that's why he didn't lift his shirt. What, why is there, why, 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 why are why are dudes constantly wanting me to lift up my shirt? What the fuck is going on, dude? Lift up yeah. your shirt. Lift up your shirt. I know the feeling. It's a different reason with you. <laughs> mm. Are you sure that's a different reason? Well, he was in prison. <laughs> What's the name of this channel? What's the name of this channel? An unreasonable man. Okay. I'm working on Jos the SEO. It's called Josie's a Degenerate. We're trying to save Josie. No, bro, never say it's you're trying to work. save one of them, dude. It's, it's, it's <laughs> hard work. Yeah, you can't. You Captain never, I don't ever want to hear. I, I, I don't ever want to hear. I can save her, bro. Because <laughs> no, you can't. I am you. not Captain Saveho. As a matter of fact, I preach against people being Captain Saveho. You cannot. I know her. that's a joke, Grid. That's a joke. I know. We know. I know. I just I can't I can't let anyone think. <laughs> I got because I'm gonna have to go shave my arms later. I'm sorry. Yeah, shave those arms. Man, I, just, I can't believe somebody said that out loud to another fucking man. Shave your arms. Shave your arms. Look at your arms. <laughs> he was like, he was more emotional than like a freaking 16 year old PMS on like Planned Parenthood government funded birth control. That's what the roids do. That and shrink your nuts. $55,000 a day. Snap it to a Slim Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel said if Andrew ever put on. Oh, then. Ever put on tight, tight white skinny jeans with torn knees? I would literally file for a divorce. He now, had to do you see, those cats, bro. Grid one, did you see now? Do you understand now why it is that I was talking in the beginning about how literacy is such a problem? And then Josie begins to read the chat and proves me right immediately. Right? See? Literacy matters. Literacy it matters. matters. It really does. It matters. By the way, I just want to I just want to remind everybody that that guy asked a 19 year old boy to pull his shirt up during the Q and A session. <laughs> he asked the 19 year old boy. He said, "He said, pull your shirt up." 
that was that was raw, man. That was that was nuts. Why'd you do that? That doesn't make any sense at all. Yeah, I just want to just want to remind you that he he wanted a nineteen year old to pull his shirt up. Yeah, yeah, that so. was uh, that was a special night. I'm glad that you. I'm glad that you brought us that special night, Andrew and Jim Bob. I hats off to both of you. You guys uh, did well. Excelled. I'm you're sure welcome, you Grid. Boring. Grid, you're welcome. Oh, did I say Josie? I meant Jim Bob. I'm sorry. You're yeah, that was great though. It was really great. Oh, Josie sent me the link. I had I was uh, I, was I was on my bike coordinating everything. I was Spyro like, says, Do you see Spyro in the chat? He's like, What's morally wrong with asking a 19 year old to pull their shirt up? <laughs> oh, yeah. Put that up on the screen. That see, there's no yeah. debate for that. Like we just know, you see. Yeah. It's not open for a debate. <laughs> well, when, when you're fresh out of prison, who 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 are you asking there, buddy? I I, I, I like books. I, I recommend a book every show. I spent ten years in prison for a little bit of marijuana. Okay. <laughs> Man, they didn't need an after show after that. It was Lord. like more emotional than all of the women on a panel combined. I spent ten years in prison for jaywalking. Go read some books, Josie. Yeah, I need to read the Rachel's book for the fifth time. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I like. I read a lot, like a lot. Well, so B Bean's been banned by Rachel on her channel. Do you want me to ban him, Rachel? I can ban him. I was just going at it because I don't know. I don't like banning people. <laughs> Jim, we're going to have to have you on again. I really want to hear more about the satirical cartoonist stuff because i that's got to be just a ridiculously interesting way to make a living. Oh, yeah. It's fun. <clears throat> it's never uh, – well, the thing about it is that reality is satirical now, so I'm just a reporter at this point. <laughs> so I just look out and go, oh, let me just draw that. <laughs> it's like, okay. So, yeah, um, you couldn't make that shit up, right? <laughs> I'm going out of business. Yeah. <laughs> You can't, it's bad when you can't when a cartoonist can't make that shit up. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so that's pretty uh that's pretty nuts. Hey uh skate uh how do you, I don't know how you pronounce your name, but I can tell you one thing. If it's a choice between Rachel Wilson leaving and you leaving, you will be escorted to the door, sir. Don't let it hit you on the way out. I promise you. Here's um, the door, bitch. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'll just, um, uh, so that's on Josie's channel. So she'll have, to Oh, you want it. me to ban it or it might, I mean, if he's I can put in the timeout. Uh, he's going to harass Rachel. I say ban his ass. I'll, I'll put you in timeout. Andrew, can you send uh grid one, the cartoon that you showed me with the white pants? <laughs> Maybe you can bring it yeah. up on the screen. Oh, I, yeah, see, yeah, I, sure. saw that. I think it's, I saw that, but I wanted to get, a, I mean, send it to me now. It's great. It's we'll fun. put it up on the screen. Uh, I got a message over here. Oh, yeah. Rachel, if you want to jump on, I mean, we I don't mind. You guys can... Uh... Yeah, Rachel, you should jump on. I was watching one of your stream last night, uh, Rachel, with uh, the one that you did with your your friend um, about Nala and all those Stratcons. Pretty good. You're a pretty good streamer, too. I got to say, I got like... I listened to the whole thing. That was smooth. I was like, oh. Then I went to look for today's stream and it wasn't there anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah. um, so that I, I sent that over to you. I got it. I'm I'm uh I'm putting it in a in my funny pictures folder for so I can have it forever. Stop drinking beer. Yeah, she did delete her OF. Whatever, dude. I'm I'm hiding. Stop drinking bathroom. beer. It'll just take you away from the good things in life. Money. You won't be rare, bro. You won't be rare. <laughs> Don't have a beer with your friends. I was in Worship prison. Money. <laughs> I was in prison. You gotta be better than me. You gotta be better than you. But you're a loser. You're a loser. I was in prison. 
<laughs> Platitudes make you the best version of yourself. Have you even been to prison? Sit down. <laughs> Fucking hell, that's so It was in California. Like the one that's like south that of it. here. That's not even like that's like a level one. Until you have experience getting pinned up against the shower wall with your <laughs> blood <laughs> leaking out of your anus, you have no you know, business talking to me, son. Do you know how hard it is to not drop the soap? <laughs> I had to wash, I had to showers in full water. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's, how I, that's how I survived. I know how to survive. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't, uh, I, I can't do that voice too much. I just haven't done any roids, so I don't have, and I, and I, I don't have it. I don't have the, the thing there to, to, to make that Listen gravel. Yourself. That's because you wear a bra. Listen yeah. to yourself. You're saying what you can't do. You have to say what you can do. Come on, sit down. I can go have sex with a woman tonight. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> If she doesn't have Brazilian, <laughs> if she doesn't have a Brazilian butt woman and got triple a D's, shut your fucking mouth when I'm talking. If she doesn't have triple D's and a Brazilian butt lift, then you're a fucking loser. You understand? He did say that. He did shut fucking your, say shut that. Up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Look at my pants. Shut the fuck up. He did. He did. Hey, <laughs> grid, grid. Yeah. You've got the R words, th two R words in the uh, chat that you highlighted. <laughs> Can you? Oh, yeah. We're on YouTube. Please. Thank you. Show me your belly button. <laughs> <laughs> Lift up your shirt. Andrew, show me your belly button. I was body. waiting for I was literally waiting for Andrew to pull up the corner of his shirt and show whichever firearm that he happened to be carrying at that point in time and say all the muscle I need, bitch. Well you can't you can't that's illegal. That's brandishing. All right. Yeah, that's yeah brandishing. you can't it's brandishing. Is that brandishing if you don't touch it? Yeah, it's brand that's yeah. any any form of perceived menacing would be brandishing. Mm -hmm. You don't pull you don't pull out a gun or show it unless you're gonna use it. Yeah, Ever. I have a, that's I like that's the golden. You know the golden. You know the golden rule. The only thing they're supposed to see is the bright flash. <laughs> well, I open oh. carry a lot, so uh, that <laughs> people you automatically open carry? know. Yes, I live in a real state. <laughs> Let me see your balls. Are they even shaved? Are your balls <laughs> even shaved? <laughs> my balls are not shaved. That's gay. Even, you even wax your grundle? Get out of here. Sit down. <laughs> if you put my dick up next to yours, if you put put, put your to take your dick out. If you put your dick up next to mine, <laughs> take it, take it. You're so embarrassed because you, you won't even put your to take your dick out. <laughs> <laughs> Florida is not open carry, but Tennessee is. And Tennessee is open carry or concealed carry with no permit as long as you're legally able to carry a firearm. You know, in, in Arizona, I've seen people open carry, truck. too. <laughs> I'm sorry? I've seen people open carry in um, Prescott. Oh, yeah, Arizona's fucking awesome. Yeah. They're, almost, they're almost as free as we are. Wait, is Dyer, is Dyer on? If so, he should pull up this stream. and Because if Dyer's talking about it, he was there. And I'm sure he's going to be fucking laughing his ass. He thought it was hilarious. I, I don't know who that is, so I can't link him. I can't send him a link. Oh, no, no. You wouldn't send him a link. He'd actually pull his stream up on your stream, and we would just laugh oh. at it. Yeah. yeah. That's, all right, that's, that's all. even better. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was great. I mean, uh, it. I literally could not – I couldn't actually understand an, initially why he stood up and said anything – and then I realized it was just that you mentioned a Bible verse contradicting literally everything he had just said. In one verse, one verse, you trashed his entire worldview. And uh, it was a work of art, sir. Good job. Okay, hang on, hang on. I got to read a Spyro poem, right? My favorite poems. Wes, I'll try to read it the Spyro way. Wes, Wes, the material man. While in prison, he took peen in the can. He fell to the floor and received like a whore, got raided up and couldn't stop. Now he spurs like a bitch, claiming to be rich. <laughs> that's, that's a good poem. 
It's a good That's film. Awesome. We're putting that up there. That's awesome, bro. We'll uh, we'll save that for posterity. Um, yeah, sky's yeah. the limit. Yeah, he was in the he was in the crowd. So what what was interesting is like the entire um, viewers left of the of the of that deal seemed like it was nothing but grifters. Um, you know, um, the one guy, the, the, um, you know, money chain, he at least said, you know, I, I advertised myself and, you know, down there and I don't know. And he was doing like business advice or something, but, uh, or financial advice. The other two, I, they never even actually did say what they actually represented, I guess, because if they tell you, they can't charge you for it because it's too common sense. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty funny. But I made a lot of money, so buy my course. Yeah. So I can make more money. Yeah, they're trying to that uh, they're trying to be Alex Ramosi, and uh, they just aren't pulling it off. So yeah, whatever. How many people in the crowd laughed when you said oh, Wes got crowd. raped in prison? The whole crowd. And I oh, it was hilarious. They were they were laughing. Um, it was it was audible how how loud it was. It was pretty funny. And uh, that's when I got the look from uh, from Fresh. Like, dude, we got to throw all this back because this guy cannot control himself. He just can't do it. <laughs> that was unfortunate. I would have loved to see that. I'm sure the audience did too. Yeah, that well, like I said, they were they were coming over and laughing about it, <laughs> just nonstop, yeah. one after another. It was fucking hilarious. The whole the whole thing was hilarious. I mean, uh, ultimately. Um, yeah, the only thing that was upsetting about it is I just kind of feel bad for um, for Myron and Walter because they put that whole thing together. And um, I mean, people still enjoyed themselves. It's just that um, it would have been oh, a better I mean, panel without it that. Did, it did. It did. It did wonderful on Rumble. I, yeah. I think that. So, I don't think it was ruined. Well, uh, I mean, I, I really wanted yeah. That was really funny it. too. Talk about uh, when Wes. Um, Ask the crowd who would hang out with you, and a guy said, "Me, shut up, Wes." Well, it wasn't just that. Um, he he said, "Would you want to hang out with these nerds?" And the whole crowd was like, "Yeah." yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. and then one guy one guy was like, "I'd love to hang out with him." Shut up, Wes. <laughs> Super <laughs> funny, dude. Well, yeah. To uh, Art uh, Rodia's question, uh, did did you get to talk to people in the audience? Yeah, they all actually came up and and hung out with us after for sure. Uh, so that, that was fun. And then, uh, yeah, so everyone got together even after the event and, and so on, but he was the only one who, who, uh, scurried away with his little entourage, which by the way, looked exactly like him. There's a couple other like shorter dudes with bald heads and beards who are look angry surrounding this guy. It was m the most bizarre thing. His entourage was so bizarre. How many roids do you have to do to be that angry all the time? A lot. Well, you have to do them to the point your fucking hair falls out. So. <laughs> I, mean, yes, I think that's a lot of roids, guys. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. The funny part is when they stop taking them. Yeah, I I kind of wish that I kind of wish that Andrew had been able to talk a little more, so he could have asked uh, Old Wes who groomed him in prison and if he felt used or anything like that, but we just didn't make it that far. Just didn't get there. Yeah. Well, I asked him if I said, let's have the debate right now. And he just shut down the he second, died? the second. Yeah. The second we, I said, no, he we can debate silence. your worldview and we can do it right now. And he just sat there and shut up because, um, these guys are never, you got to remember, they're never actually challenged on their, their viewpoint. Didn't and he, once it came down to that, some, didn't he actually say something about how, that it, he wasn't it, what that he wanted. He needed to be paid for it or monetized it or some crap like that as an excuse. I couldn't actually hear what he said, um, but you guys were there, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. You know, he's got five hundred eighty-three thousand fucking subs, gets four thousand fucking video views. I just I don't believe any of these right? guys, bro. I don't believe. Oh, no, any he's of a, them. he's a fraud. He's a total fraud. I think he's, they're all um, fucking con artists, pieces of shit. So, but look, his house gotta, is inherited. Gotta, I got to get rolling and Jim Bob has to get rolling too, because, um, um, well, I mean, we just don't like you and you're, you don't even I shave your arms, bro. 
you know, I wouldn't like your it arms. Either, honestly. I don't do yeah. enough roids. Yeah, I'm, st I'm stuck in a bathroom, so. Yeah. Yeah, That's and and, and are you are you shaving your arms? Yeah, I'm about to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, have a good night, Grid One. Take care, man. Thanks for having yeah, us. I on. really appreciate it, Jim Bob. We right, thanks for coming. Back on another time, man. It'd be great. Sure, sure thing. Sure. All right, Adios. thanks. Have a good night. You're messing with your screen. You can all see it. Hi. <laughs> all right, that was great. That was awesome. That was awesome. Have uh, have everybody there. You're Talk. welcome. Poor Wes. Poor Wes, man. What a. If it wasn't for Elvis and the blues, we wouldn't claim Memphis. We'd give that to Mississippi or Arkansas. Guaranteed. Andrew's back to save the day. Hey, Andrew, how are you, buddy? Good. Good. We're still. We're just. We're just listening to this coverage of this by Jay Dyer. Pretty funny. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's pretty funny. He's going to fucking. He's going ham on this bozo. So, but he, there was something there. I there there. Um, this was you know the bozo Wes. Yeah, um, he should. But anyway, there was a there was a part there that I didn't see. I didn't mm -hmm. note it, but r right at the beginning of the exchange with uh, Jim Bob, and he starts freaking out. Yeah, he says, "He says, uh, man, I I'll just fucking dip, bro. I'll just dip. I don't give a fuck. I'll just." So he you he basically. Say that. I thought you knew yeah. that. You didn't know that. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't I notice that he had said that. I yeah. Yeah, he was like, "I'll, I'll dip." Oh, He's like, yeah. "I'll dip right now." I'll I'll just dip out. <laughs> yeah. What a homo, dude. <laughs> the, that the amount of L in that dude can't be measured by conventional means. That dude no. had just solid L all over the place. So he was going to rage quit right in the beginning. Oh yeah, he was like ten minutes in. wasn't even ten yeah. minutes. Yeah, he was going to rage quit right away. That's yeah. pretty funny. I thought you know, only I, women did that. See, if I if I had caught if I had caught that, I would have pushed way harder, dude. Yeah, I was. I so, and that's actually one of the reasons why I thought that you knew that, and that's why you backed off. I thought that you were, you know, you were told to or whatever. It's. Uh, well, I mean, they did tell us to, but um, <laughs> but if I had known, you if I could, you your own yeah, man. If I, had, if I had known he was that close to it, I would have. This is fucking funny. I love you I, know, I love I love these guys in the audience tonight, man. I will rage quit my way back to jail. Prison. It was prison, bro. It wasn't jail, it was prison. Oh yeah, no. The uh I noticed some of the names, some of the names in here. Um Yeah. But awesome. you know, the yeah, the crucible crew is great, dude. They're yeah. They're fucking <laughs> the most the most brutal yet fair handed chat on the internet, if that makes sense. Yeah. Hey, what do you what do you think of the new of the temporary background until I move over into the airplane shed? I think every day, yeah. Every every time I tune in, there's a change. Wow. Dude, I, I every day I work on it, man. It may be a little yep. bit, it may not be a lot, but I every every uh, <laughs> every day I work on it. What's Joseph, interesting hello. is that I also noticed that your audience is growing. It is. So. It is growing. Um, it's slow. Just like I assumed it would, right? Yeah, it's, it, it's slow, but you it's know. Not, it's okay. Well, here's the thing: it's, 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 uh, it's always a snowball, bro. You hit these little, yeah. you hit these little markers that, that snowball them these next markers. Yeah. There it goes, you know, forty, and then it's sixty, and then it's a hundred. It's you know, just keep working at it, dude. You got the nice thing you got going for you is you got friends who got, you know, good sized audiences that we can direct your ways. As your show gets better, people watch more and more. Trust me. Yeah, there man, there I, ain't, there ain't, there's nothing good on the internet anymore. Yeah, you're probably right. I don't. I'm not actually on the actual internet that much anymore. What's interesting is that, um, I I literally every every show I say that you know how I'm I'm really appreciated uh, appreciative to you and I actually keep you and Brian in the in the description to go check out your. Your uh, both of your. Uh, but thanks for constantly forgetting to put me in the description, bro. You're in there. Don't don't bitch. See. All right, all right. That's a woman thing to do to assume that you're not in there. So let's just step back and calm down. I'm just calm giving down. you shit. 
Call hey, I shaved my arms, okay? The so patriarchy re the patriarchy has rejected you. But y'all don't even shave your arms. What are you talking about? I shave I my do. arms. I'm a real I'm a real man. <laughs> a real man. That's so <laughs> fucking funny. It it's it's interesting. It's so interesting that he's I can't believe a grown ass man said that on fucking camera, bro. I was like, I was like, hey, wait, I shave my arms. I'm like, oh, wait, I'm going to shake. <laughs> well, well, after having looked at this, this guy's go offs on his different streams, where he's going off on these different people who work this little fucking program or whatever, um, very clear to me that he's essentially never gotten any pushback on any of this ever. So the second he did, he was just struggling the entire time. He didn't know what to say. <laughs> so he, he looked over, he was, he was talking brain. shit, and then we hit right back, and he just, he didn't know what to say. You know what I mean? So these 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 people are like that. They choke. The second the worldview gets applied to pressure, they fucking choke you. Oh, right. Absolutely, They man. choke. And it's funny because all those millions of dollars, right? All the Bugatti, all the everything, it, that doesn't prevent you from fucking choking. Mm-hmm. Doesn't stop you from fucking. Dollars. Yeah, you, you can pay three million dollars and like fucking prevent your worldview from you choking. Uh, I. Yeah, yeah, pretty funny. He needs. He needs. He needs more millions. Yeah. He needs many more millions. He doesn't have any. Like his ain't got shit. Like it's. He, he's well, fake. I know that. You know that. But apparently, he doesn't know that. <laughs> Sometimes this this uh, this shit becomes so pure tantrum. No, no drink, no smoke, no fun. No, it's all work. And I'm like, dude, you're fucking. Wait, you want the male suicide rate to keep going up, or <laughs> you know what I mean? Like camaraderie and unwinding and having a good time and having a beer and having a smoke, and, you know, shit like that. It's like that's a that's a nice way to unwind with people. You know what I mean? This just constant barrage of just like perfection. Uh, always, you know, always be doing more than you were doing, no matter what. It's like, no, there's also a time where you need to take a break, and fucking relax, back off. You know what I mean? That's just as good for you as the alternative of, uh, of working hard. You know what I mean? Sometimes you got to take a break too. And it's like, I, I wish I'd hear some more of that too mixed in. You know what I mean? But to me, that's just, just common sense. Burnout is a real thing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I um, you know. I I I don't know that I've I've ever been burned out, but I've watched people go through burnout so much, man. So much. It's it's crazy. Well, you probably were able to prevent it by making some R and R when necessary. You know what I mean? I think there's some mindset to it too. You know, well, it's all about balance. You know, it's not about who can work the hardest or who's the laziest, is who has the best balance, you know, who manages it better. Yeah, I don't I think I think no nose to the grindstone's good. Most of the time you should I should you should always be improving. You should always be moving forward. I also think that, like, uh, you got to have some kind of temperance, you know, something where you're like, you have some way to unwind. It is like these guys are sometimes so set in, and you see them burn out as they go. You're like, every day, gym, nine o'clock, followed by this, followed by that. That's the routine, no matter what. There's no deviation. There's no, and it's like, dude, that's good to develop good habits. There's no doubt about it. It's also good to fucking unwind, man. You know what I mean? Relax. There can there can be there's room for that. Yeah. I, I guess the alpha male relaxation. I've always felt like that if you're getting burned out, it's probably because you're putting you're you're spending too much effort in wrong directions. Yeah. Well, that, I mean, there's truth to that too. Yeah. But the question is not, uh, you know, the, the question is like, you've taken vacations with your wife, right? The kids. Uh, yeah. So uh, what, after I got married, I did. <laughs> yeah. I didn't take a, uh, from, from, 
from when I started college until I got to uh, until I got married, I, I never took a vacation ever. But, but I mean, most people would argue that my job was a vacation. I was going to racetracks and shit. You know, I didn't have an adult. Oh yeah, job. yeah. So it was a rough life. It was a rough. Yeah, life. Was, I never had an adult yeah. job. I, I didn't want yeah. an adult job, and I got exactly what I wanted. So, uh, yeah. tolerant Cam, who I'm, I'm, I'm actually starting to really like this tolerant Cam dude. Wes is proof that all prisons are women's prisons, filled with overly <laughs> emotional folks who can't control themselves. I mean, he ain't lying. Well, that's but that's why they're in prison. They're in prison because they have no impulse control. Right. And we were, you know, I, I posited earlier a question. It's like I'm right now I'm walking with Jim Bob down the street, and I just want to punch him in the fucking face, but I'm not going to because I have impulse control. <laughs> well, right? and Jim Bob's a good guy. Yeah. So, yeah. There's Plus, that. he kicks people. He's kicked people in the face before. So I, well, that's, I, yeah, I mean, hey, like, if I knew a like, dude what if I, I'm going to go to jail again. I'm going to jail right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I do my learning. Yeah. Plus, you don't pick a fight with a guy who purposely shaves his head into a mullet for a massive live event. Yeah. Like, that's just hilarious, dude. Yeah. <laughs> He's just like, fuck it. I'll just shave my head in a mullet just for the fun of it. <laughs> he got caught into one fight for, like, all the time that he supposedly was in jail. And it was, like, it was just, like, some hit that he took because he was at the wrong place at the wrong time, but he was never involved into in any prison here. fights. Well, it's funny when I talk to these guys who have done long stints, because there's plenty of them on the internet who can talk to you about that. And it's like, yeah, most of them say the same thing, which is if you mind your own fucking business, like you don't have to join gangs. You don't have to do that kind of shit. You can just mind your own business and read books and people leave you alone. They only bother you if you come in and you, you know, it's just like you go into anybody's house and you walk in and start talking shit. Um, you get you get fucked up, right? That's the way it works. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I remain unconvinced. <laughs> I remain unconvinced as to the authenticity of these stories. I'm convinced that it's unconvinced. Yes. Yes. Well, I'm. Con yeah. I'm. Uh, I'm unconvinced. You're convinced. <laughs> I'm You're convinced, convinced that he's a dumbass. Oh. There you go. Well, I remain convinced of that, but I'm unconvinced about the rest. I also remain convinced that Jim Bob had him on the threshold of rage quitting, and if I had heard that he said I'll just dip, I would definitely have dug in a little harder <laughs> if I knew that we could have made a rage because we were that close. Jim I Bob, just why didn't you tell know. me? I just oh, want to know, like, going easy. how how he, did he uh, his shirt off? off. Oh, yeah, he would have pulled. Awesome. He would have. I mean, dude, if we could have gotten him to rip his shirt off, that would have been. Savage Hulk See, your Hogan. shirt. Do you, do you know how many dudes have taken their shirts off on the Crucible? It's fucking insane, dude. Jim Bob's had two debates with guys who've taken their fucking shirts off. Really? Yeah, and I'm not kidding. Damn. Because he'll he'll be he'll be talking. He he enrages him so badly. That they are like, oh yeah, yeah, it's just look gay. They'll take their shirt off and start flexing at him and shit. And Jim Bob's yeah. like, yeah, that that looks pretty gay, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's pretty funny, dude. Oh, yeah. Right? I have never in my life felt like taking my shirt off to get in a fight. What's up with that? Yeah, no, I'm not kidding. This is this is uh, multiple times that this has happened. Where he's been debating with someone and they've become so enraged that they take their shirt off to own him. Then they have the audacity to complain that women are emotional and they'd be acting like that. It's like, I didn't, I thought toxic masculinity was some feminist made up bullshit until I saw this guy. And I'm like, maybe yeah, but, that's what it but is. Wait a second. You say, oh, well, how could you say that, you know, uh, women, blah, 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 when guys are acting like this? But it's like, yeah, we call them women. <laughs> that's yeah. that's how we insult them. <laughs> We're like, stop yeah. acting like a fucking woman. <laughs> right? That's how we We're insult them. like a fucking them. bitch in this case. Drunk a bike. Drunk down a bike. That's the right, that's the right way to go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm very self-aware. So, I'm like, I'm not even babe. denying it. Let's try not to kill Jim Bob. I need him to come on the show. He's he's funny. Well, we just we just almost watched a guy die just a second ago. So yeah, don't don't do that. 
Yeah, yeah you almost got hit They're by a car. Track, so just you know, just keep that in mind. In Miami. Jim, yeah, Jimbo's got too much energy tonight. He's like, let's go for a walk. And just walking around, people are falling over. Just getting, getting fucking hit by cars and shit. <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on here? You guys anyway. didn't feel like going out in the nightlife of Miami? No, we had a fucking... We did a bunch of shit today. We got a fishing trip tomorrow. Mm, uh, nice. It's it's rough. It's rough over here, Jim Bob. It's rough over here. That fishing trip tomorrow is going to be the roughest part of the trip, I think. It's um, yeah. it's 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 terrible, you know. Depending we have to... on what bimbos you get on Monday. No, well, no, that'll be the funnest part. Ah. Reckon the fucking skanks on Fresh and Fit will be like that's uh, that's 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 the, the fucking jewel of the job. And I mean, that's got to be a blessing to be on Rumble and just be able to let it all out. I'm a fan, yes. Yeah. Because, yes, I mean, that fan. episode that with that chick with the red hair, you guys were hilarious. Yeah, that was funny. That was a... Uh, but that's why the, it was their, their number... You're it was a their fucking number one rated, F. Number, yeah, their number one rated show of all time. Yeah, so that was super that was, funny. Yeah, it was good, but... Anyway, I'll let you guys go. I just popped in again. Uh, congrats, good one. I'm happy to see your growth. And yeah, man, I'm I'm glad that uh, you popped back on. It's always fun yeah. talking around. Yeah, yeah, no problem, man. I'll see you. Yeah. Have a good one. All right, man. Ciao. You guys have a great rest of your night. Don't get in any trouble or get arrested. So oh, shit. don't end up in jail. <laughs>